In this week's episode of Mod Mondays, we're gonna do a review and install of this new smart AI box from One Car Radio on this 2022 Toyota Tacoma TRD Sport. Let's go. Let's quickly go over what's included in the box. This product was sent to me by One Car Radio, who is a professional car auto manufacturer and supplier specializing in in-car stereos. Their aim is to provide multimedia products providing in-car entertainment solutions for your vehicle. If you're familiar with my channel, you'll remember that I have done a similar review and install of their affiliate company's products, which was well received by viewers. This new smart AI box is very similar to the 2-in-1 CarPlay in the 8-core Qualcomm with an upgraded OS system equipped with the Android 11 system. It still has Netflix, YouTube capability, wireless CarPlay, and can support majority of the Android and Apple products out there. It also comes with a SIM card insert for added versatility. If interested, use the promo code MarkMannerin for an extra 10% off this product. Here is the packaging that the new AI box came with. It's nice and simple and highlights the features and capabilities of this product. It comes with an instruction manual, two cables to power the AI box, and of course the new smart AI box itself. This feels premium to the touch, has a sleek design, still relatively thin, lightweight, and seems very well made at first glance. Before starting this installation, let's first go over some important information for this project. This process is meant to be a simple plug and play with no special tools required. This instruction manual will have all the details on the product specifications and key definitions of the new Smart AI Box interface. The kit comes with this USB-C to USB-C adapter cable which may be needed in other vehicles. I won't be needing this in my case since I have a Tacoma that has a USB slot. The kit also comes with this USB-C to USB adapter which we'll use to power the new Smart AI Box. For the AI Box, You'll notice that it has this matte finish, which goes well with the interior of the Tacoma. It has a sleek design that goes with the stealth look I'm going for, and comes with three features. One is this air vent to ensure the device has proper airflow. This slot for the power cable, which we'll use to plug in the USB-C cable. And this slot for the SIM card if you aim to use this as a standalone rather than connect to your hotspot. Simply plug the cable to the USB-C end and plug the USB-C end to your Tacoma's Android Auto slash CarPlay USB-C port and proceed with setting up the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi from your phone. To connect the new smart AI box to your truck, you're going to need your phone with Bluetooth and Wi-Fi hotspot turned on. You'll only need to do this step once and the device will automatically connect to your phone allowing for wireless CarPlay capabilities. Turn your truck on and follow the normal prompts on your entertainment system. Keep an eye on the bottom left projection tab. This should change to CarPlay when the box is fully connected. You'll notice that the rightmost green indicator light will blink faster when the device is connected. Then the screen should automatically change to the new interface. This has a simple design with clear to see symbols of the apps installed in the device. You'll also notice that you have this new pop-up tab which allows you to navigate through your new interface. You can use this to go back to the home page, preview screen, open app list just like your phone, clear cache, and go back to your Tacoma's main screen. In the top left corner, You'll notice that the Bluetooth is grayed out, so let's go ahead and connect this to your phone. Grab your phone, ensure that your Bluetooth is turned on and discoverable for this step. The 
then head over to your connected device and pair this new device. Search for Smart AI Box and click Pair and allow for access to your contacts and call history. Wait a couple seconds and your phone will be connected. Now you'll notice that in the main screen, the Bluetooth is lit up and connected and the Bluetooth list now has your phone as part of the paired device list. Next, we'll need to do the same for the Wi-Fi hotspot which we'll need to watch Netflix, YouTube, and access all the other apps. Go to the Settings app, click Network and Internet, and ensure that the Wi-Fi tab is turned on. And simply go to your phone's hotspot and tethering, allow use for Wi-Fi hotspot, and click and connect to that Wi-Fi on your entertainment system. You're gonna have to input your password for the first time connection. As you can see, Wi-Fi symbol is lit up and ready to be used. After connecting the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi hotspot, let's now test the apps included in this new smart AI box. First, let's take a look at the general interface. The AI box comes with these pre-installed apps including the Play Store, CarPlay, Mirror Screen, folders for all your files, Bluetooth device list, music folder, Netflix, YouTube, and the settings app. Next, here is the Google Play app. This is where you can download other apps. As you can see, you still have access to all the lists similar to your phone. For the settings app, here is where you can change the configuration including the theme and display of your smart AI box. I'm going to change mine to the dark mode as it's easier to see on the eyes. You can also see the version of your OS, serial number, and other car information in this app. Next, let's go ahead and try YouTube. As you can see, it looks just like how you have it on your phone or tablet but on a bigger screen. You still have access to all your notifications, you can sign into your profile and access your videos, look at shorts, navigate through other videos like you would do on your phone. Let's try a video here. Ads are still there with the interface looking the same. We can skip this ad. Welcome back to Inspiring Builds. I'm Dan. Sound comes through the truck speakers nicely, and we can still fast forward similar to our phone. We can also choose other videos while one is playing. Let's try this one on my patio and fire pit. Yes, those videos are coming real soon. But first we wanted to go through this because I had to set up my saw today. We're doing some lead stone work. And here is Netflix, the main reason I wanted this product. Sign in and click your profile and navigate like normal. You have your movies, TV shows, and categories. Let's try this one. Someone, you, could push caps. you can still hit pause and rewind similar to your phone or tablet. I don't know, but we gotta find out. Haven't you caused enough trouble for one day? Why haven't even begun causing trouble? Hell has no fury. Sound comes through normally with no lag on your truck speakers. Lastly, here's the Android Auto slash Apple CarPlay app. Click this and wait a couple seconds for this to connect for the first time. Then you should be taken to a familiar screen. Your normal Android Auto from the factory or Apple CarPlay if you're an Apple user will show up. We have all the same apps as you previously had and will function the exact same way, only wirelessly. If you're enjoying this video so far, Please hit that like and subscribe button to support the channel. Let's now test how quick this product connects in real time and go over my final thoughts. Their website did not say how long the pairing process would be, so I'm timing my own experience here starting from me turning the vehicle on. The 
got about 27 seconds for my first time after connecting the Bluetooth, then an average of about 20 seconds for my next couple drives, which is fast and super convenient. As for my final thoughts, here are the things that I enjoyed. I like that it was very easy to install and set up. As you saw in the video, it's a simple plug and play and once you've set up your Bluetooth and Wi-Fi hotspot for the first time, the smart AI box will automatically connect to your phone on future drives. The product is also very competitively priced and at the time of this video recording, One Car Radio has an extra 15% off on their website. Also, as mentioned at the start, if you're interested in this product, use my promo code Mark Mandarin for an additional 10% off. I also like the versatility of this wireless CarPlay system. It allows for the addition of a SIM card capable to support 4G LTE for users that want to have this as an independent product instead of using your phone's hotspot. Most importantly, I like that Netflix, YouTube, Mirrorlink, and a lot of other apps work for this. I also like that this is very versatile and works with a lot of vehicles that has wired CarPlay. Personally tried this on my Tacoma and 4Runner and a couple of my Honda vehicles. Like my other experience with their affiliate company One Car Stereo, One Car Radio has an amazing customer service and responds very quickly. Shout out to Caroline for all the help in this process. Here are a couple things to keep in mind before buying. Please note that even with the provided air vent in the back, this device still gets slightly warm when in use. That's normal. The package did not come with a micro SD slot to allow for additional storage, so you'll have to live with the internal storage of this new smart AI box. Lastly, this device can work while driving. So please keep that in mind and make sure that you're safe out while driving and be mindful of all the loss in your location. And that's it for this week's episode of Mod Mondays. Let me know what you think of this new smart wireless AI box to review and install. If you found value in this video, please smash that like button, consider subscribing, and press that bell notification so you don't miss any of our future videos. See you in the next one.